Hey everybody, it's AJ here and in today's video we're going to learn how to screen record in Mac OS. We're going to use the built-in QuickTime player on Mac OS so there's no need for any extra programs or software. We're simply going to use a few keyboard shortcuts and start screen recording in full 4K. Hey everybody, it is AJ here and in today's video I'm going to teach you how you can screen record in Mac OS including computer audio completely for free. We're going to use the programs inbuilt into Mac OS, so there's no extra third party programs you're going to have to download. Everything here is completely for free and already built into your computer. Of course, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and if you want to supercharge the ways your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. With that being said, let's get into this. So you can see here, we are currently on our Mac OS desktop, and I have two ways to start launching our screen recording. The first way is a keyboard shortcut. We're going to press Command, Shift, and 5. And you're gonna see down the bottom here, a little context menu is gonna appear. It gives you the options of capturing the entire screen or capturing a selected window, or even just capturing a selected portion of the screen. Next that you have the option of recording the entire screen or recording a selected portion. And next that you have the options. So in the options here, you have a few controls you can change. The first one is where you want the screen recording and the captures to save to. The second one is if you're on a timer of none, five or 10 seconds. The third option is choosing the microphone or the audio you want to record, whether that is the inbuilt um, speaker, whether it's your external speaker like my Sydney microphone, or whether we just hit none. And down the bottom are a few options of whether you want to show the floating thumbnail, whether you want it to remember the last selection of the program that you've set, and if you want to show mouse clicks. I'm going to turn on the option of showing mouse clicks just to show you what this looks like. If you're happy with your settings here, I'd simply select on record entire screen and then hit the option of record. But that is the first way of getting into the option. The second way, I'm just gonna X out of this for a second, is actually just launching into your spotlight search and then typing in the word QuickTime and opening up your QuickTime player. When you open up QuickTime player, what you wanna do under the file section is scroll down to where it says new screen recording. And what you'll see is that same option in context menu appears down the bottom. We're gonna double check our settings are correct and they're okay. And then we're gonna start recording. So I'm gonna have it on record entire screen. Our options should remain the same as before. And then we're simply gonna hit the option of record. The first thing you'll notice is in the top right hand corner of your screen, you now get a little circle with a square or a pause button. And that is to stop the screen recording. Right now we've just started screen recording in full 4K. I'm gonna show you what this looks like when we jump over to Microsoft Edge. Let's jump over to YouTube for a second and you're going to see that we're going to start screen recording as soon as we, well, we're already screen recording, but you're going to see what it looks like. We're going to open up a video here. Let's see what MKBHD in their Waveform podcast is looking at this week. So you can see here that it is recording the entire screen. It's recording the audio from the computer. It's recording our microphone audio as well. Once you're done with your screen recording, I'm going to X out of this for a second. And what you're going to do is you're just going to hit that stop button in the top right hand corner. And this is going to finalize your screen recording. So as soon as I hit that stop button, you're going to see that screen recording is going to pop up here and I can play that video back. So you can see here that screen recording has of course recorded the audio. And I'm just gonna minimize this for a second. You're also gonna see that we chose to save it on the desktop here, which is where our screen recording and of course the date and time and details uh, appeared and where they save. If I right click on here, I can go down to get info and you're gonna see the resolution that it's saved in is 4096 by 2304. So it's recording in full 4K, which is really high definition. So there you guys have it. It is that easy to screen record in Mac OS. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna supercharge the way you use your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.